Now let us see how uh, how an app of uh, uh, the application file for a Android app is generated, and how do we actually run an Android app? Now, the uh, an Android app it contains the Java source code. It contains the resources that the application uses, like the image files, the sound files, the layout files. Now, these are all the resource files that the Android app needs. Now, the entire Java code is just compiled by the Java compiler to a class file. Now, which is then operated by a Dex tool, which converts these uh, class files into Dex files. Now, this is then operated by an APK builder tool. In uh, collectively with the compiled resources that has been compiled by the AAPT tool, which is the Android asset and packaging tool. Now, this tool it compiles all the resources that we have uh, for the Android app, generates an R.java file. This will shortly see when we uh, design our first app. This R.java file is an interface between the Java code and the XML files that we use to design the layout for every screen. So this generates the r.java file. It compiles all the resources, and the APK builder compiles these resources along with the Dex files and generator generates an Android package file, which is the .apk file. Now this is the file that uh, we load on the Android platform, and it is then loaded by the JVM and run as an Android app. Now this further requires to be signed. Now in case it is in the uh, development mode, we can. Uh, sign it by a debug key, and in case it is uh, to be commercially launched, then we uh, uh, sign it with a commercial key, and then the signed APK file is then available uh, for download to the Android platform. Either it can be done through the Google Store or the many other uh, stores around the world hosting Android applications. So this is the entire development process or the packaging process for an Android application. And now let us see how uh, the application runs on the Android platform. Now each application is assigned a unique a user ID by the Android uh, system. And this uh, Android app, it runs in its own process, in its own uh, Dalvik virtual machine. So every app, it runs in a separate process, isolated from each other. And they can uh, ask for access to the hardware and other resources uh, through the appropriate channel. So every uh, app runs in a new process. And whenever required, in case the system wants to shut off any app, it can simply cut, remove the process in which the app is running. So every app, it runs in a new process, in a new instance of the Dalvik virtual machine. And all processes are isolated from each other. And the system, whenever it requires to uh, shut off any app, it simply uh, closes the process of that particular app. So this is the process how uh, the apps run on a Android platform.